Hey guys, how's it going? Live at five. Hello, hello. I'm like, I gotta fix this. Hold on, hang on one second. Or let me see if I can change this. Hang on. <clears throat> How's that better? Can you see me better? Hello. Let's see if you can see me better. <laughs> How's everybody? I see I have some friends on joining in. Hey, Sonia. Hey, Tammy. <clears throat> Let's see. I'm just trying to get on here. Check it out for you guys. <laughs> Perfect. Let's see. Moving it around, right? Trying to just to get it right. I just want to make sure you guys can see my table. There we go. I should like, every time I test this beforehand, I come on and it's like, not where it's supposed to be. Like it changes, like the Zoom. Do you guys have that? For those of you who go live, can you relate? Are you feeling me? So happy, happy. Hello, hello, spreading the love. Thanks, Lynn. Hey, good evening. I know it's like five o'clock somewhere. I only have my LaCroix drink though. Like my tangerine LaCroix water. Um, but it's five o'clock somewhere. You guys can be enjoying a cocktail somewhere, doing something. I should have actually had lemonade in my cup because today we're going to have some fun with um, easy peasy lemon squeezy. Who loves lemons? Bright yellow lemons. Anybody out there besides me? Oh, look at Lynn's giving me some lemons, some hearts, some love. Hello, hello, hi Maria, hey Carolyn from Alabama. Where are you watching from? Come on in, come on in. And I'm assuming you guys can hear me pretty good. Oh, come on in. Yep, I'm, I'm here myself back here. Hey, hey, Idaho, Peggy is in the house. So, just uh, clicking here, you love lemons, right? Who else loves lemons? Iowa's in the house. So what made you stop? What made you slow your scroll and come on and hang with me for a little bit? I want to know. Was it my red glasses or is it just like you knew I was here and you're like, oh, I have to watch Kathleen. Well, regardless of why you're here, we're, we're glad you found us. Hey, hey. Um, Austin, Texas is in the house. Hey, yep. Kathleen's here from my old stomping grounds, that's for sure. Oh, my name, Kathleen, right? It's a good name. Oh, all right. Denise is thinking of signing up. Well, you should. Let's talk about that. I don't want you to think anymore. Let's just do it. <clears throat> Perfect time to have some fun. So we're going to have some fun today. Um, we have lots of things going on. Today's going to be an ink day. How many of you like ink? So this is um, one of the stencils we're going to use. We're going to make a really fun hanging banner to brighten up our kitchen or wherever you want to do it. <clears throat> so, hey, Lori from Massachusetts. So, this is um, a 5 by 7 stencil, easy peasy, lemon, um, squeezy. Hey, Andy, I've missed you. Where you been, girl? Nice to have um, you on with us today. And then I have, oh my goodness, this fun pattern. So many things you can do with these stencils. So, let's see. How do I open this one? This one is actually I used before. Oh, it's already open. So, I've used this before. I made, um, oh, I should have got it out. I made a big mason jar with this last year, a wooden MDF mason jar, but look at how cute all the little lemons. Now, so let me just do a disclaimer here. We're going to do it like lemons, but what else would this stencil could you do with this with? What else would this look like besides lemons? Huh? I know what I would else you could make with it, but we're going to use it for lemons. But what else would you, could you do with it with lemons? Limes, Lynn's got it. Oh, who's got a bad, sad face? Mad face. <laughs> What's that mad face for? Are you hitting the wrong button? Sorry, my pants are like falling down. Um, I guess it's a good thing, right? Maybe I'm losing weight. <laughs> no, not really. Um, somebody keeps giving me mad faces. Oh, I'm going to be sad. Why are you giving me mad faces? Um, all right. So give me lemons, hearts, love. <laughs> So easy peasy lemon squeezy. And then also I have, I think this is called our Art Deco pattern. And I think this is one of the retired lists. Um, if you guys haven't been on our website yet, 
and you want to go to magnoliadesignco.com, we are um, making room for new stuff. So we're retiring some things. So you definitely want to check it out. And um, I think this is on it. This is one of the patterns. I love this pattern. I use this a lot. It has stripes. It has triangles. So we're going to make um, a hanging banner today. And this is our Deco one. I think this is a... I don't know. Maybe my producers can tell me what size this is. I think it's a 12 by 18. Um, but it's, look at how neat. It's got some neat patterns in it. But I'm going to use the... Um, the stripes because I want to use a divider so I have my stencils I have lots of stencils three stencils that we're gonna use today so that's the stencil we're gonna use okay then I have of course my magnolia scissors but I also have some ribbon so this is gonna be a fun thing how many of you have ever made ribbon ink ribbon we're gonna ink ribbon because you know what when I was going to make this all I had was this green to go with it. I didn't have any yellow ribbon other than this little itty bitty piece of yellow that came with the uh, bunnies or chick garland that we have. But I had some white ribbon and I thought how fun would it be to ink the ribbon to use in our ink project. Hmm, have you done that before? Let me know if you have. Right? Lisa, isn't that a good idea? I know this brain sometimes thinks of stuff. So we're going to have some fun. We're going to try to um, try that out. Never did it before. Hopefully it'll work. Let me know if you've tried it before. Okay, so then what we're going to do is we're going to put it together. We're going to put this all on our hanging banner. These are super cool. These are um, magnetic sticks, but these magnetic, magnetic sticks come on a canvas cloth, right? So it goes like this. And what I love about this is that you can use this for different things. So if I wanted to change my inserts out, I could do different inserts. But basically, you just go like this. And it's going to lock in place and hold this in place. Right? So it's going to hold it in place like that. Right? So we're going to put the pattern in the front here. So cute, right? Great idea. So, right? Yeah. All right. So fun. Hey, Lynn. Okay. So, oh, yeah. Okay. So, we're just going to take the wooden things off because we don't need those right now. So, we're just going to take them off and move them out of the way. And we're going to get set up. I have pineapple yellow permanent ink. And I have magnolia green ink. And that's the ink we're going to use for our medium. But what we're going to do is do the top half and the bottom half the patterns and then we'll put the lemon squeezy in the middle. What do you think? And then I'm going to put the stripes in between. I think it'll be good. Um, hey, um, Pam. Hello, hello. So let's um, get out underneath here. I have a little secret stash underneath here. There we go. Hello, hello. So my secret stash underneath here. Oh, this one crease. These are ink mats. So when we're using ink, we're going to use an ink mat so that it um, stays on the um, mat so that my pattern doesn't move around, right? So basically what I'm going to do is take this. It has a, like a little film and it's sticky. See it? Sticky, sticky, sticky. So it's sticky. So what we're going to do, it's going to protect our fabric, but it's, or not our fabric, it's going to protect our surface, but it's also going to keep our fabric, um, it's also going to keep our fabric from moving around. So we're just going to put it on here. And so it's sticking. So we get a nice, smooth, um, actually, you know what I need to do? Um, I'm gonna, there we go. So that at least we get nice smooth fabric so that our fabric doesn't move as we're using our ink on it. Okay. It'll hold it in place, but then it's also going to be good because, um, I'm going to use my ribbon and it's going to hold my ribbon in place. So let me just get this stuff out of my way. Can you guys see what I'm doing? I just want to make sure. Yep. 
You guys see? Hey, Ashley, thanks for joining. Hey, Sue. Hey, Beverly. Um, so when we're using fabric and inks, we don't need to um, fuzz our back of our stencil because we want it to stick to the fabric. So we don't have to be as um, sticky. So you just ink fresh flower stencil. Oh, fun. All right, I was just seeing what you guys are saying. Okay, so what we're gonna do is let's get some ribbon on here too because I wanna do it all kind of at once. So how much ribbon do you think I need? And I actually got two ribbons because I wasn't sure how it would work. This is more like um, like a fabric strip ribbon and this is like a, I don't know what you call it, grow grain ribbon or a grow grain. So I'm gonna go like this. I'm just putting this on here because I want, we're gonna do our, and that should be good. I'm just sticking it right on here. There we go. So that we can make our ribbon on it. So on my mat, I have my ribbons and I have my banner. And so what we're gonna do is move my ribbons, other ribbons out of the way. And we're gonna move this up here. Cause I have to space it out and figure out what I'm doing, right? And I have some tape because when you're working with ink, if you spread the ink off the side of it, it, it can get on your fabric and you don't want to do that. So I want to have a nice controlled workspace. Um, so here we go. So straighten out my little board. All right. Um, perfect. Hey, Patricia. Hey, Christine. Um, Straighten out my board. Okay, this is like straight. So what I'm gonna do is take my, we'll do the top. I just gotta think this through because we're gonna do lemons at the top. We're gonna put a line in and we're gonna do lemons at the bottom. And actually, you know what I'm gonna do? And I know it's gonna make some of you anxious, but I think I'm gonna do it anyway. I think I'm gonna cut it in half. You think I should cut it? or just use my tape. Oh, I'll pick it up and move it. So I gotta figure out how I want this. Um, so I'm gonna do the lemons, and then this, and then more lemons. So I kinda have to center this first where I want it. And then I have these stripes that I gotta put in here too, so. We're going to have to figure that one out. Um, so this is about halfway, kind of using my healing mat here, my self-healing mat, kind of to measure it. And actually there's tick marks on mine, so I could just really do this. So you figure about half an inch on either end. So there we go, and actually, you know what I can use is my ruler, not ruler, but the um, wooden piece from the board. Um, and again, I just wanna make sure you guys can see me. Okay, perfect. Um, okay, so we're gonna just do this in the center. So probably how many inches so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen inches. So this is five inches, I think, seven inches. Seven inches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's odd. So we have to have half above and half below. So I have one, two, three, four, five and a half. One, two, three, four, five and a half. So actually it works out. So we're probably, we're right where we want to be. So I'm going to put this one here. And I guess I got to figure out how many um, inches from the bottom it is. Because I kind of want to, I'm not eyeballing it this time because I want it to be a little bit more um, accurate with this than normal. Normally I just wing it. If you know me, I'm a winger. 
I just come in here and wing it in here. Are you a measurer or you measure everything or do you just eyeball it? I'd love to know. Let me know as we're chatting along. Because I like to usually eyeball it and wing it. I mean, obviously I'm not doing it perfect, but I am going to actually look and see where um, we're having it. So it's... Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve inches. So half of twelve is six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's the middle right there. So that looks about right. If I take it straight up from the middle. Just folding it in half just to get it. And of course I shouldn't have moved it because now I'm um now I don't remember how far up and down it was. <laughs> did you ever do that? Like you do one thing, solve one problem, but then you cause yourself another problem. So now I have to redo it. No, I think we're good. One, two, three, four, five. It needs to come down a little bit. So one, two, three, four, five. There we go. Perfecto, right in the middle. There we go. So, okay, so I'm gonna just actually lay this down here right where it's at, and you don't have to fuzz it. Um, you can just put it on, so actually I'm gonna put my little guides there and this little guide there so I remember where it is. See, so it comes in handy having those little wooden pieces. So now all I have to do is just put it in here. And so I'm starting with the middle because we're gonna move out from here, okay? So this is the Easy Peasy Lemon Squeezy 5x7 which is available, super bright. Um, with the yellow, but of course you can do it any colors you want. Like you can make a pink lemonade. I'm doing um, pink lemon. I'm going to do yellow lemons. So there we go. It looks off center to me though. I don't know what you guys. Mm. You know why? Because my thing isn't 100% even. I don't know. What do you guys think? Does it look centered? Hmm. It looks a little, uh, it's a hanging banner. I guess it looks okay. I think it looks okay. I want to know who keeps giving me mad faces. Are you pressing the wrong button? We want only happy faces. I think um, <laughs> some of you are giving me love. Okay, so now I have to um, do our stripes and um, don't know how I'm going to be doing that. I think so. So I think what I'm going to do is Come up here and do the stripes at the top and the bottom first. So basically, I'm just going to line up the stripes here and then I'm going to pick it up and do it. But I'm just trying to line it up first to kind of get um, an idea of where I want this to go. Because I want the lemons above and below it. So I just wanted to know how much I had, space I had. Okay. And then I'll do the same thing on the bottom. Okay. All right, we're going to do that first. I don't know why. Um, 
I'm going to do this first. I'm going to line this up. I'm just putting my green line right over the top of it. And I am going to just do a nice straight um, ticking stripe above it. And I'm going to do it in green. So again, with this, I'm going to do this. See, so I'm going to do my ticking stripes, I think, in green. Let me see. So um, too much math for you, right, Eva? <laughs> right? It's so funny. We can just um, measure it. So let me look at the chat here. So you only see hearts. Too much math. Yeah, I know. It's really weird. Somebody kept giving me, like, sad faces. I'm like, why are we sad? Don't be sad. Um, we're having fun, right? So I just wanted to... So I don't know. I had... Somebody did an inspiration in our group. I don't know what creator did it, but isn't that super cute? That's kind of like what we're going for. Um, I don't know. Maybe my producers can tell me who made it. But all I had was the image, and I thought it was really, really cute. So... I'm copying it. <laughs> so, okay. Not exactly copying it, but, um, oh, now I see what they did differently with the lines. See, sometimes you just need your inspiration in front of you. So just get reminded of what it looks like, right? Hello from Stanton Island. Here we go. So I see what they did. So I'm just going to line this one up here. Just eyeballing it again. There we go. So. And what I'm going to do here, guys, is I'm going to take some painter's tape. I don't know. Have you ever used painter's tape to, like, kind of mask off your ink projects? It's um, a good way to do that. And all I have is just, like, a wide painter's tape. And basically what I'm just going to do is just loosely stick it on just in case I spill over it. I don't want to get into the um, other areas, right? So I'm just going to put that there. And here. Oh, I kind of like this. It's going to be so cool. Okay, so here we go. We're going to do our line first. I don't know why I'm doing the line first, but I am doing the line first. I'm going to do it with green, magnolia green. Sometimes you just come in here and make it up as you go along, right? That is what I'm doing today, folks. And when you're working with ink, you want to use a light hand. You don't want to press too hard. But you definitely want to cover everything. So now that I did that, I just got to lift this up. Peel and reveal. Oh, I still got a little bit through. So I got to do something. Hang on, hang on. What did I do? I didn't tape it good enough. I got a teeny bit through, but I think we can cover it up with our, I'll show you guys when I come up. Yeah, we'll cover that up. So we're going to take it down here and we're going to do the same at the bottom. And I'm going to line up after we're done and go by, back and just do the top. So here we go. Lining it up. Can you guys see it so far? Perfect. And ink is permanent, so you want to make sure you keep your hands clean. Anytime you're touching your um, 
fabric otherwise you risk the chance of getting little fingerprints on it which I have done in an ink project have you guys done that before and again nice light hand when we're inking just glide it across Perfecto. So we'll just pick this up. Oh, I see a little bit didn't stick. So there we go. Let's see. There we go. Perfect. Oh, missed a spot. Didn't press hard enough. So the other thing too about ink is after it dries, you can always go back and fill in some spaces you missed. Or you could just do it while you're peeling it up if you notice it before you do it. And there we go. So those are gonna be the lines that we did. And because we used ink, um, I wanna get this in water right away. So what I'm gonna do is um, put it right in my water bath. I have a water bath right here next to me. Hello, hello. And it gets really hot. Do you ever get hot when you craft? I don't know. I just, all of a sudden, I don't know if it's because you guys are there watching me that I'm getting like <laughs> nervous, but anyhow. So we have our easy peasy lemon squeezy. So let's do that part. And I wanna see how my friend who I am copying off of did theirs. So what did they do? Okay. So they did the words easy peasy lemon squeezy and green and the leaves in green. So we're going to do the same thing. So whenever you're using thin lines with ink, you want to make sure that you um, take your finger and go across it and just kind of rub it down just to make sure you get good contact with the sticker. Okay. So super cute stencil, right? And then, um, Easy peasy. So this is super cute. So if you had the five by seven boredom boards, this is something really cute. You could just update your little board with it, or you can make little five by seven signs. It's also really cute for cutting boards. If you have little mini cutting boards, I actually was going to do it on a cutting board, but then um, I got this inspiration in our exclusive creator group that if you are a creator in our community, meaning you've partnered with us to inspire others to craft and create and you're getting a discount on your products, um, we have an exclusive creator community that you can be a part of. And that's really fun, get lots of inspiration in there from creators who share the projects that they're working on or that they've done. All right, so there's the green. Now we gotta get the yellow, yellow, mellow, yellow, mellow, mellow, yellow. Bright yellow, pineapple yellow. This is gonna be so cute. It's gonna pop so much with some color. I'm feeling like it's gonna pop. Oh my goodness, I love the brightness of this with the muted magnolia. It's kind of like Makes me give me the feeling of like sweet and sour. No, bright and cheerful. How cute is this gonna be? And of course, as I'm talking to you, I'm putting my hands on top of the wet um, thing I already did. Now, so one of the things I'm gonna do for my lemons, because I don't wanna get the yellow into where I did my green leaves, I'm going to use one of the little tools that we have here. This is a little accessory tool. They come in a pack of five. I'm going to use that to apply so that I could just go around it without um, dragging any of the green that I got on here into it. What was it called? Mellow yellow? Did I say it right? Wasn't it, is mellow yellow like a drink or something? 
How many of you guys like lemonade? Do you make it at home, like real lemonade? I'm not like a big lemonade fan. I mean, it's okay, but not like my go-to summer drink. I don't know. I just like, I'm, I would prefer water or maybe just a splash of lemon, squeeze of lemon in there. I don't know. How about you? How do you, uh, what do you think about lemonade and lemons? Okay. So now that we got this done, we're going to peel it and reveal it. Let's see how I did. It's looking pretty good. Okay. So again, in the water bath it goes. In the water bath it goes. You guys want to see so far? You want me to share with you what I got going on? What do you guys think so far? I got my lines. I got my lemon, easy peasy lemon squeezy with it. So now, if you're just joining us, we're also going to do the ribbon. Um, and we're going to also do the ribbon so that we can... Um, use the ribbon as an accent on here. And um, so now what I'm gonna do is take my um, pattern. And what I could do actually is, um, before I get into that, let's just make sure that this is totally dry up here. Ah, all my stuff is flying away. We're gonna make sure it's totally dry up here, just taking our Magnolia Design um, heating element and just doing it. What did you use for the stripes? Oh, I used the Art Deco um, pattern. And then we also have a ticking stripe pattern if you wanna use that. Or if you have any other stencil that has stripes on it, you can use those too, right? This is going to be super cute. Now i got to think about who I'm going to give it to. So we're just drying it a little bit. So if you're just joining us, we're doing this on um, one of our magnetic um, hanging banners. And we have two sizes. And I'm using the larger size option that we have. So now we're going to take the pattern and we're going to do the pattern. So... What I have to do is line this up right here. What do I want to do? Here we go. Okay, so I'm just going to line it up in the bottom. See how this goes. So what I'm going to do is take my tape that I had from before. No sense of wasting a new piece of tape, I don't think. Unless, of course, um, I'm going to just tape this off. Right above it. So I don't want to go over it. Let's see if we can get some hole. Whole fruits. Perfect. Okay. So what I'm going to do is just do this. I don't know how it's going to come out, but we'll see. So again, you just want to always, always when you're using, um, when you're using ink, you want to make sure that you get really good contact with it. I don't know if you guys can see it. I'll pull it down a little bit further. Um, let's see how you guys can see it. Da, da, da. So where are you guys? What are you doing today? What do you got going on this weekend? Huh? Oh yeah, you guys can see it. Okay. I just want to make sure you guys could see what I was doing. So now we're going to take that same green or this little one. And I'm going to see if I have any. 
I'm going to do all the green stems first with um, the... So I'm going to do all the green stems first. There. That are close to the lemons. So that I don't get it in the lemon. And then let's just see. All the green stems first. Did I get all my lemons with green stems? I think so. So now I'm going to take my paper towel and wipe it off. And I'm just going to do all the lemons where the lemons touch the yellow. Or the yellow touches the green. So that again, I get some coverage, but I don't blend the colors, if that makes sense. So I'm just taking the tips and I'm just, oop, I forgot one. Because I just don't want the colors to blend, that's all. So I'm just going right where they come together and just using this just to get my ink in there so that I don't drag or accidentally spread um, the one color into the other color. But again, I think I shared this earlier. If you're using um, ink, and let's just say you make a mistake or you make something that you don't like with your ink, once the ink dries, you can always go back over it and ink over it. You can always layer your inks, just kind of like you do chalk paste. You know, if it dries, just go back. Okay, so now I'm gonna do my greens. So I got my squeegee, putting some of my permanent ink on it, and I'm gonna do all the greens. And when you're doing ink, you wanna make sure you press hard enough so that you get good coverage but not too hard that you actually move the stencil. Because if you move the stencil, what's going to happen? Come on, you guys know what happens when you move the stencil. What happens? It bleeds, right? Hey, Diane. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, Susie, it's going to be gorgeous. Thanks for hanging with me here. So, again, did you answer me? What are you doing this weekend? I have my niece is in town from New Jersey. And it's terrible for me to say, but I think they're called the Bandits. They're here for um, hockey, girls hockey. And um, my sister-in-law and my niece and my nephew are in town. And we're going to go to a hockey game tomorrow. They have uh, um, one today, this afternoon, but I'll be working. Got some things I got to get done, so I can't go today, but I'll be at the rink tomorrow. Gosh, it's been forever since I've been at a hockey rink, right? I don't know about you, but I'm like, ooh. Oh, Tracy, you're packing a move. Where are you moving to? Carolyn knows if we move our stencil bleeds, you don't want to do that, right? Just going around with the ink. And I got to move kind of quickly here because I don't want it to dry. I don't want the ink to dry. I'm like chatting away. It's probably taking too long, talking. It's like, I don't know if you ever do this, like you look at it and then like when I have, I always have different patterns like this, a lot of times I miss like one of the things that was supposed to be green, right? <laughs> so we're doing all the greenery in green. And then if I didn't get any really good um, contact with the uh, ink. It's okay. It's a couple things. It can look distressed like it's worn, like actually it got worn off. 
and then um, uh, or I could always go back and put my stencil over it and touch it up once it dries right and I see somebody said you like my backdrop I feel like my camera is too low I didn't set it up good enough um, but thank you the backdrop is cute right better than a plain wall I think okay so I think we got all the green I don't think I was gonna do oh well we'll just do these two what the heck I wasn't going to but why not okay so we have all the green now we have to do our yellow the lemons oh, I got too much probably so now we have all the lemons it's gonna be super bright and springy who's ready for spring aren't you guys sick of the snow from what I understand the East Coast again got some snow right or there's snow somewhere I saw somebody posting snow right it's this is so springy right super duper springy Super springy. Okay. I'm getting there. Bear with me. We're moving. You're going to hang around and watch me make my ribbons, right? I should have probably done the ribbons first so they would dry so that I could play with them. But we'll use our heating element to expedite that situation going on. See how therapeutic this is? Like it's very calming. You could just sit there and spread it. It's a big project, right? Yeah. And you're probably like, I want to, who's going to hang around and see what it looks like when it's done? Hang around. Oops, did you see what I just did? I almost dipped my yellow one in the green. <laughs> that would have been fun. It would have been a lime and <laughs> a lime and a lemon together. I guess you could do like lemons and limes with this if we wanted to, right? If you want to do lemons and limes. So what do you guys think? Whew. All right, a little anxious here. I'm gonna do the peel and reveal. Hopefully I covered everything good. So let's just see. Yeah. Yeah, baby. Beautiful. Looks so good. Okay, so we're gonna just gonna do the same thing that we just did. I'm actually not gonna wash it. I'm gonna use the same one on the bottom. Perfecto. Okay, so we're just going to do the same thing on the bottom. Okay. So I want to make sure I stick it down. Remember, we want to make sure we stick it down really good. Pull this up. Love it, right? So good, right? So good, so good. Um, here we go. And you wanna make sure you get it down, stick it, get out any of your wrinkles. Don't want any wrinkles. You know what? I'm going to just, I don't want to risk it. I'm just going to flip it upside down. Ah, but I also have, I have some yellow, so I have to make sure I match the yellow up. Perfecto. Because my ink might be drying because I took too long. So that's all I did was just kind of, there we go. 
there I can get good contact you want to make sure you smooth out any bubbles air bubbles you just want to get them out Now we're going to do the same thing again. I'm going to take the magnolia green first and do all the stems of where the limes are or lemons. But then again, you can do lemons if or limes if you want. If you didn't want to do lemons, you can make these limes, or you can mix them in and do both. Um, okay, there wasn't that many. I don't have as many limes or lemons. <laughs> you could tell it's Friday, the end of the week. I can't even speak. Um, not as many lemons on here as the other side. Now I'm just taking the yellow again, just because I don't want to smear it together. Alrighty, I think we're good. It's all good. Okay, I think we got them all. Here. I think I got all the yellow parts. Okay, so now we'll just do the leaves first because I don't know why, but we're going to do the green first. Try not to get any lemons in the green. And the nice thing, if you're doing a thing with um, any of the patterns, is our patterns do repeat. So you can line it up and re-repeat it if we wanted to. Like say you had a bigger project than this and you wanted to cover something, you could definitely do that. So as um, we're just going along here. Hi Heidi, thanks for coming by. Again, I was saying my uh, nieces and nephews are in from New Jersey. Big hockey tournament. It's funny that they would have a hockey tournament here in California, right? <laughs> I guess we play hockey. They play hockey indoors, so I guess it doesn't matter what the weather is like. It's actually a nice um, sunny day here today. We haven't had a lot of sun here in California. All right. I feel like this has more green and less lemon on this bottom half. Not sure how I feel about that. It's kind of bothering me a little bit, if I'm being totally honest with you guys. But I guess that's what happens when I'm like under pressure, trying to get it done to show you guys. So we're going to do the ribbon. Don't go away. We're going to do some ribbons. How many of you, I had asked earlier, how many of you have ever um, inked a ribbon before? Huh? Okay. Now we're going to do the yellow. Any of you ink a ribbon before? Hey Kathleen, hey Angela, thanks for coming in, thanks for coming back. If you bounced out and came back in, thank you, thank you. Okay, so here we go. Lemon, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And again, if we for some reason miss something, we can always go back and what? Once it dries, we can always go back and fix it, go over it. Um, go over it. So I know some of you are watching out there saying, you know, you're thinking about becoming a creator. 
And I would say this is a perfect time to become a creator. Spring is always such a fun time because there's so many spring, summer fun projects. Plus, if you have young adults or children at home, you know, it's fun. They can do the crafts with you. And you can just inspire people. Lots of moms and grandmas and aunts and uncles are always looking for activities to do. And you can inspire people to craft and create. And right now we have a sale going on. A lot of our, if you have some favorites or some stencils that you were thinking, oh, I might get this, but maybe at another time, you want to check out the retired page because we have a whole bunch of things that we're clearing out to bring more in. Yep. Diane said she's never inked ribbon before. Well, we're going to do it together today. All right. Oh, but I don't want to ink my towel, my tacky towel. How many of you have inked your tacky towel before? <laughs> All right. Whoop. Okay. So I think we're pretty good. We're going to peel and reveal. Whoop, whoop. It came out awesome. Came out awesome. So now I'm going to just do my ribbon over here. I have all this stuff everywhere. So we're just going to take what we just did. And I want to be careful of what I just did. What size? And I'm just going to put some of the, the lemons in the greenery on here. Actually... That was kind of dumb putting it on the same thing. So hang on one second. I don't want this to get on here. I sometimes thought it would be easier because I was going to just do it all at once, but it didn't work out that way. So I'm just going to do this just to make sure I don't get on my other thing. Actually, Let's just move the ribbons down. We'll move the ribbons away from our project so that we don't get the ink on our project. There we go. So all I'm doing is I have some fabric ribbons and I'm just going to put some, we're going to put our stencil on the, the ribbons. Hey, 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 Tina. Hey, Blaze. Thanks for joining us. So we have um, the stencil on our ribbon, and we're just going to do the same thing. We're just going to go and um, do all the leaves first. I'm not going to be as detailed on this because most of my ribbon is going to be covered up anyway. Like, you know what I mean? Like, we're going to mix it with other ribbon. So I'm not too worried about... You know, I mean, if I have a little boo-boo on the ribbon, because you're not going to really notice it or see it. However, I do not like boo-boos on my main project. How about you? Are you like that? It's like sometimes we have one little thing that we see that we're not happy with. Nobody else sees it except for us. But... Sometimes happens, right? Okay, so I did all the green, I think. Do you guys see any green that I miss? And then we're going to take the yellow. And just come on the yellow. And again, we're just doing this on ribbon. I just took some grain ribbon. I don't know, is that what you call it? grain ribbon? I don't know. Does it grow grain? A ribbed ribbon? I don't know. What do you guys call it? I don't even know. What, what, what do you guys call it? Is it called ribbed ribbon? Grow grain ribbon? I don't know. What do you call it? I'm sure everybody has something different they call it. Okay, 
super excited. Um, okay, so we're just going to peel this off the ribbon. And this is where having um, the stick mat comes in place because it kept my ribbon down. Did you see how it kept my ribbon on there? See, so we just did the ribbon a little bit. And I'm going to take this and put it in my water bath over here. So that. doesn't dry in my um, stencil, so bear with me here for a second. I just want to make sure I get it all wet. It's a big stencil. My bath wasn't that big, so I just want to get it all wet. So, all right, you guys excited to see what I got going on so far? You're like, oh my gosh, what has she got going on? Well, I'll tell you. We took our hanging banner, a hanging um, banner, and we're going to put our lids back on here. I don't need this extra paper. This, I think, was the yellow. So you're going to put the lids on here so that they don't dry out while we're talking. Okay. So let's see what we got going on here. We'll take this off. This was just garbage. So we don't need this. I do want to save my squeegees. So I'm going to throw those in the water bath too. My little garbage pile over here. And then this, we're just pulling off here. And okay, so, so far, this is what we got. So we have our banner that we made, but then I made the ribbons that's gonna go on the banner. So now I'm gonna do is just dry some of it up so that we can um, put it all together. What do you guys think so far? Can I get some loves? Give me some love. I didn't have, the reason I made my ribbon is because I didn't have um, ribbon that would match the project. All I had was a little bit of yellow ribbon and I wanted to tie in because we're going to put some ribbon on here too, up top. So we're just going to dry this a little bit. I should have done the ribbon first, right? Thanks, Yvonne. Yeah, it was a big project, right? Was it you who made the, um, who inspired me? I don't know. One of the creators made this, and I just saw it, and I said, I have to do it. I said, I have to do it. So what we're going to do is, so now that we have this, we peel it off our ink mat. So the ink mat makes it really nice because it holds our project in place. So this is our uh, project. See, look at how good it looks, right? So we're going to put it all together with um, a ribbon. And we're going to put our things on it. So what I was going to do was... Some of this is still tacky. Um, so I have some of this ribbon. Oh, my other ribbon fell. Hold on one second. Oh, doo -doo -doo. I'm like moaning and groaning, trying to reach over, pick it up. Rolling ribbons. So you're like, where did she go? So we're going to make some ribbon. We're going to do... Uh, like just kind of like a messy bow type of a thing. But let me just um, dry this out a little bit more. I just want to make sure I dry it all out. What questions do you guys have when you're working with the ink? So after the ink is done, we're going to iron it to set it to make it permanent. And you just hold a setting on it um, over parchment paper. So that's what we do. Um, after it sets for like 24 hours. No, it wasn't you, Yvonne? Okay. Yeah, it's a great mat. I'm trying to think. You just call it ribbon. Gross grain. Cross grain? Oh, okay. Cross grain, Sherry says. 
Oh, hey, Helga. Glad you were here. Your tacky towel is covered in ink. Oh, how funny, Rose. Right? So, Diane, you're going to try some ribbon. Oh, Susie said she did some snowmen on ribbon. That'd be cute. I'll just about learning new things. And then just dry this here. Okay, we'll just be careful with it, putting it together. So, whew, hot. Okay, so when you use a, I like to do, I'm going to probably use, my stuff is going to probably be about this long. So we're just going to do like kind of a, I don't want to say a messy bow, but just like kind of a bunch bow. And I like towels to have this kind of a towel. So that's me. Are you a straight angle cutter, straight cutter, or do you guys like towels? And if you can see my floor, it's covered in little fabric. Um, when they come to clean, yeah, I do have a cleaning lady. I have to have a cleaning lady. When she comes to clean, she's like always picking up all the little towels or little things that are left over that I... I guess I should have a little garbage can here that I could clip them into, but that would be too practical. How many of you have that at home? Like have a little garbage can, you're gonna clip your little things. See, even little itty bitty towels. You like dovetails too? Yeah, me too. Dovetails are my fave. I don't know why, it just makes them look finished, I think, right? Just makes you look finished. You want to finish, and then I just have this, some of this plain kind of see through -y ribbon that we'll use. And I'm making this one the longest. Um, it's really, it, it'll just so cute, right? And then I have this yellow, and I have this white, and then we have the one we made. So I'm using the one we made last because, why? Because we're wet, like, waiting for it to dry. Dovetails, the way I make mine so that they're perfect. Just, there we go. So let's take, um, I don't know which one I want to do. Which one is drier? They're both pretty dry. So they worked out good. So both of the ribbons worked. See, like, look at, so there's my ribbon. So now I have a ribbon that we made. So that's super exciting. Like, I just like, I'm super excited now because a lot of times I have a project and I'm like, ooh, I don't have anything that will match my project, right? The colors that I'm using because I don't have the right ribbon. But guess what? If I have a plain base ribbon, I could just make my own ribbon. So like that was a big aha for me today. And I don't know, maybe it's an aha for you that like, oh my goodness, you're going to go make little, your own decorative ribbon to match your projects. Super cute, right? And of course, we have to dovetail these too, right? It is still a little wet, but we're just moving on. So see, look at how cute. So all I'm going to do, and then like I have this other one here. This was the grow grain ribbon. It didn't come out as pretty because it doesn't have as much green when I laid my stencil, but pretty cool, right? pretty cool if I don't say so myself so I have um, one two it's almost like I don't want to cover this one up so I'm gonna put this under here and then maybe what I can do is two more of each because I feel like I need it fuller I feel like it's not full enough do you ever do that sometimes where it's just like I want a little bit more volume or body to my ribbon and you're probably like well what you gonna do with the ribbon I will show you in a minute if you hang on you'll see the complete finished project so my sister-in-law from New Jersey is here and she is um, 
a, somewhat of a crafty person herself. She makes signs, be inspired, and she does um, furniture, repurposed furniture. So shout out Denise Spas, this is Zadi. Um, so here we go. I cut my yellow one too long. Oops, bear with me. Gotta get it. Okay. I should have cut them in half because one's longer than the other, but I guess it doesn't really matter, right? Oh, you're welcome. Have a good weekend, everybody. Um, so let's put this all together. So I'm going to use the yellow one I made on top, like kind of, um, I'm, I'm going to use everything else twice. I'm going to use this once and then I'm going to take these and actually because I'm crazy I'm going to cut this a little bit shorter so they're closer in length. I don't know I just get something in my brain and I'm like I, I want them to be closer in size. Okay so then we're going to go like this and then we're going to go like this. So. So you guys can see how I made this. All I did was just layer everything together. Just layer it. And then I like to use floral ribbon for my um, ribbons. What do you guys use? Do you guys like floral ribbon? Do you like um, uh, twist ties? Some people like twist ties. Some people use other ribbon. I don't know, what do you guys use? So I'm gonna line them up and then I'm just gonna take a little bit of floral wire. I love floral wire because it's super easy to work with. And I'm just gonna come underneath my axes. So I just laid them out in an X. And I like to come up from underneath. Some of you Or, see, actually, I lied. We're going over around it. And we're going to just fold it super tight. Pinch, pinch. We're going to pinch it. I'm trying not to manhandle it too much because my ink is still wet. Oh my gosh, this came out so adorable. Super happy with how it came out. What do you guys think of my bow? Here, let's do this. Fluff it, fluff it. Probably my tails are a little too long, I'm thinking. Do you ever have that happen? Like you think it looks like the right size to get it on there. Then we're just pulling it apart in here. Yeah, they're too long. So, but it's better to have them too long than too short, right? Because if it's too long, what do you do? So do you think they're too long or do you think I should trim them a little bit? What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Too long? Or should I trim them or should I leave them? So pretty, right? I don't know. What do you guys think? Trim them? I think it's a little long. I think they're a little long. So I'm going to trim them a little bit. Do you ever do your dovetails and cut them the wrong way? I, I do that sometimes. Like I don't think about how I'm supposed to be cutting them. And I'm going to leave the, the I'm going to leave our um, ink one longer. But I'm trimming the other ones. There. Looks better, right? Oh, this one I gotta trim. It's a little too long. I didn't trim this one. Little trimmy trim trim. Oh, Marlene said leave them. No, I liked them a little teenier. I don't know. And then I have the longer one. 
Yeah, there we go. I'm happier with that. Okay. And I'll leave the yellow ones in here. I guess it's what you kind of call, people call messy bow. Is that what you call these? I guess it's kind of messy. Super cute. So let's put it all together and see how this is going to look. So I'm just twisting my little floral wire because now I have this little thing on it, right? So let's put it all together and see how it comes out. So let's pull it off our ink mat. It's like I need two hands. Put this underneath. Put this like this, line it up. Okay, so it's like that, right? Do you guys see that? Whoop, whoop. We're gonna move my ink mat out of the way so that it doesn't stick to everything. And then we, of course, have our bottom stretchers to kind of pull, pull it down to keep it tight on the bottom. And the nice thing about it is if we wanted to, what can we do with the wood? So like we can put it just like this, just plain, right? But we made this cute bow, so we got to put this little bow on it. So we're going to put the bow on it. Where do you think I should put the bow? I got to fluff the bow. So cute. Oh my God, I love it. Hold on, I got to fluff my bow. I'm not liking the way the bow is like laying. I want you to get the full effect of how much fun and how cute it really is. What do you guys think? Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, and the bow matches. All right, you guys, you gotta give me some lemons. Show me lots of lemon love here. Maybe some yellow hearts, maybe some magnolia green hearts. Super, super cute, right? So isn't this gonna brighten up any kitchen, any little hallway, any little room? And if somebody sent you this, wouldn't you be like, oh my gosh, how cute is that? It makes a nice little gift. Maybe getting ready for Easter. But thank you for the hearts. Um, again, I'm Kathleen Vicenzati. I'm the Vice President of Sales here at Magnolia. I want to thanks for hanging with me on this Friday Live at 5. Uh, I want to encourage you to check out the website because we have a discontinued item sale going on right now. Retiring a whole bunch of stencils, but guess what? We got new stuff coming out for summer. You'll see new stuff um, for fall and holiday this year too, but we got to make room for it. So um, go grab them while you still can. They're 20% off um, stencils. And then um, it's just easy peasy, easy peasy, love and squeezy to shop with your creator. And if you want to have a fun class, how fun would it be to get together with your creator and make a fun project like this, right? Um, just get your friends together, sit down for like an hour, hour and a half, and um, you can walk away with a finished project and have lots of fun making it too. So have a great weekend, everybody. Love and appreciate you. Thanks for following us. Sprinkle the love with your friends. Um, give a little bit of sunshine out there today because somebody might just need you um, to brighten their day. So um, thanks again for joining. Bye.